everyone, so today I'm going to be sharing with you all another look using the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. This is my go-to, like, favorite smoky eye look. I like to use blackened brown, like, taupey lid almost. Um, sort of fading up like a true smoky eye and then a really warm lower lid, almost like a tan brown. So um, I hope that you guys enjoy it. I wore this a lot over the holidays and in some recent videos I wore this look and you guys wanted to see a tutorial. Plus there's just so many ideas that I have with this. So we're going to keep sort of getting through different tutorials with this palette. I just love it so much. But I hope that you guys like this look. If you want to see exactly how I did everything, then keep watching. So I usually don't show doing my eyebrows, but I figured, why not? It makes such a big difference. I'm using my Anastasia Brow Wiz and Taupe. I just sort of lightly get the middle. I like to go along the tops of mine, because that's where... The bottom's pretty smooth, but the top's kind of uneven, so... That's what works best for me. And then I kind of comb them into place. Add some clear brow gel. This is the Anastasia Clear. For my eye, for my actual lid, since I'm doing like a more like cooler grayish brown up there, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Khaki. It's just like glide on so easy. Like I have to use such a light hand with this one because it really... You can get way too much on there, but I'm just going right to the crease. You don't have to make it look perfect because we're going to take a brush and smooth it out. And this is an E44. It's my favorite, favorite brush for cream eyeshadow products or for smoothing out a product like that. So I mainly just sort of make sure that the lid is smooth. And... Then I smooth out the crease and I wipe it off a little on my hand sometimes because I don't want to, when I smooth this middle part, I don't want to smudge too much in there. I don't want to pull it up very high either. I'm just smoothing it in the crease so it looks even. But these are awesome. It's one of my favorite colors. So like I said, we're using the Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. I'm going to take an E55 brush in the shade called Puddin'. I'm going to pat that all over the color, just until it's all even. I'm going to take this color called Cocoa Chili and an E35 brush and just put it right in the crease. I'm just going to make it a little darker. And I'm not pulling the color up very high, I'm just concentrating it right there. Then I'm going to take this color called Mousse on a bigger fluffy brush. This is an E40. The one that I used before was a E35. I'm just going to sort of overlap that right where we applied that color and then pull it up just slightly. I'm going to take this matte color, the highlight, in coconut cream. <laughs> Put it right up under my brow. I'm also going to take that same color on a smaller brush. You can even sort of mix it with this a um, more frosted color, the Butter Pecan. Put that right on this inner corner. Always have to kind of pat it a little bit so it's not too much. Put a little more on this side. Then we're gonna make the lower lash line very warm in comparison as you can see. So I'm gonna take the peanut butter shade and a smaller brush, this is an E57, which is really good for the lower lash line. I'm gonna make a very thick smudge along the lower lash line especially in this outer corner. It's going to be pulled down just a little further and blended inward about to where that light color begins. And then I like to take just a little bit of these sparkly shades. I couldn't decide which one are frosted shades, I mean. Just kind of go back and forth, I guess. And overlap that right over it. And just to make it more cohesive, I'll take my Urban Decay 24-7 pencil in Bourbon and just lightly line my waterline and that matches the color. It sort of makes that lower lash line look a bit warmer. It just makes it stand out a bit more. I'm also using the 24-7 pencil and perversion for my upper lash line. We're gonna smudge it out so you don't have to worry about making the perfect line or anything. Since the upper lid is so dark, I just want it to sort of 
just gradually get darker as it hits the lashes. I don't want like a very defined line with a pencil or anything, or even like a liquid. Then I'm going to take an E30 synthetic brush, which is the best brush for um, sort of smudging pencil liners. Just sort of lightly go back and forth until you soften it up a bit. Then you can take that same brush that you used on your lower lash line, or this is an E32. It's sort of similar, but I like using this one for my really dark, dark colors. <laughs> I'm using this uh, licorice shade right on the tip of the brush. You're going to smudge it right over that color, right over the pencil. So it just looks like a gradient with your eyeshadow. It looks like it just gradually gets darker as it goes to your lashes, which sort of gives you a true smoky eye look. And now just the finishing touch, I'm just going to use some mascara and I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex. This has been my favorite one lately. Get your lower lashes really, really good as well. Since your upper lid is so dark, you can even use false lashes if that is your thing. I'm going to skip them because I think mine look pretty good as it is and I don't want it to look too dramatic. So now I'm going to show you what I did for the rest of my face. I'm using NARS Laguna for my bronzer. I did a video on this recently on how you can bronze and contour at the same time. It is different. You can use a bronzer to do both. But I just do this. It's very quick. And just kind of warms up your skin tone. So I concentrate it on the contouring areas. Then blend it onto the bronzing areas. So most colors still concentrated where you would contour. You can add a bit more to the areas where you contour. So now you've got like a good blend so you don't have to work so hard on blending that. And we're good to go there. And then I'm going to use the Bare Minerals uh, Ready Blush in the One, which I've been using a lot lately and I really do like a lot. sort of already did my lighting or my highlight products when I did my um, concealer, but just for a little extra sheen, you can do this before your blush or whatever order you want to do it in. Um, I use my Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Highlight Powder. It's right there on the tops of my cheeks. I think it just looks pretty. just adds a little something extra. For my lips, I'm using my Lip Pencil by MAC and Whirl. I'm going to keep my lips relatively nude. I'm going to use the Bare Minerals uh, Lip Stick in, how do I get this out, in Moxie. Just like the most perfect like pinky nude if you've never tried it. It's so pretty. And that is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and that you'll try this yourselves. And you got another little idea for what to use the semi-sweet chocolate bar palette for us if you needed any. I mean, it's just so, to me, it's just so easy. There's so many things you can do with this. So, um, I really enjoyed mine. If you want to see more on these, I do have like a review comparison between this and the first and um, another tutorial using the blue in the palette, which I really like that look as well. So, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.